Are we good? Rolling? Oh. <clears throat> Greetings, gentlemen. My apologies for the delay in sending you this update. We've had a major breakthrough recently, and this is the first moment I've had to get away. Now, I'd like to take you for a brief walk through the level five area of this facility. As you know from my previous video report, we lost 100% of our human test subjects. As it turned out, their bodies were too weak to withstand the procedure. But the good news is, Dr. Litvin has discovered and secured us two incredible beasts, which prior to now, we believe to be mere myths. Yes, I believe you know them by a variety of names. Sasquatch, Yeti, Bigfoot. These beings have proved to be far more suitable subjects, with at least double the stability of a man. And gentlemen, this subject has thus far exceeded our wildest dreams. We've already begun replacing certain body parts with the prototype cybernetics. In fact, I'm going to treat you to a rare glimpse into the procedure. Gentlemen, this is the future. Just imagine one cybernetically enhanced super creature. A creature that can track, hide, and stalk our enemies, and then take them out in one brutal measure. Now there is just one issue. In order to finish this project to the highest possible standard, we need additional funding. Colonel, with the funds you raise, it would only be a matter of time before we had the ultimate soldier at your disposal. Using robotics and organic material, we could create the most advanced cybernetic design in human history. Codenamed Megafoot. Anyway, as you can see, we're making brisk progress. And I hope that you can secure the funds quickly to aid in the research and development of this project. We'll send another video after our next real-world test. Peter Hall signing off. Wow.